Hi everybody, Ken Reynolds back with you again. I'm your friend in the furnace business and I'd like to really be able to prove that to you today by talking to the people that make capital equipment purchasing decisions. Furnaces are getting pretty pricey these days. Alloy metals are expensive and of course labor and technology in general. But uh, furnaces don't have to always be replaced. It's sometimes the cost-benefit analysis gets done and it turns out that by, say, replacing the temperature control system on the furnace, you might extend its useful life for another 10 years. And, uh, and that's a good way that you can combat the planned obsolescence that some of the furnace manufacturers have had in mind for the last, oh, say, 20 years or so. And let's take a look at somebody else I used to work for. And uh, Watkins Johnson Company up in actually uh, Scotts Valley, California, had a, uh, a little bit different approach. They went outside and uh, places like Apex, uh, Eurotherm is another name that could be there, manufactured uh, instruments for WJ back in the 70s. And WJ got the microprocessor idea from BTU and uh, put it in the 984 probably in the early 80s. And that was later the 988, which was an industry standard if, uh, if there ever, ever was one, and uh, there's probably still a hundred or more of those around the world. But uh, unfortunately, they are all obsolete because in uh, June of 1991, uh, they cease to exist. So our point here today is if you have one of these instruments, they are all obsolete. Change the controls, not the furnace. Might be a good viable option and a great benefit for your bottom line. Thanks, we'll be back soon to talk about somebody else.